Now that you've shot some video, you may want to bring it into an editing program such as iMovie to do some basic editing, trimming, and to add narration if you'd like. First, connect your camera to your computer and depending on the device, iMovie will recognize it and an import window will pop up or you can go to File, Import, Movies to import your file into iMovie. These video clips will show up in the event browser. When you drag the pointer over a video clip, you'll see the video that you're reviewing in the viewer. In iMovie, this is called skimming. If you see some video that you want to play, press the spacebar and it will be played in the viewer. Now it's time to start assembling your movie. To pick a section that you want for the beginning, just drag the pointer over the clip and click. That creates a yellow box which you can then use to trim that clip. To make it longer or shorter, just grab the sides of the box and drag to select the part of the clip that you want to use. The left side is your in point and the right side is your out point. Once you've trimmed it, selecting the part of the clip that you want, drag and drop it into the project window. Continue building your movie by dragging in pieces of video from the event browser. Once you have a few clips in your project, you can change the order by dragging them to a different position. Or to remove a clip, select it and hit delete. Press the spacebar to play back what you've done. Once you get your clips organized, then you can add narration what we call voiceover. To start, click on the microphone button. Here you can choose whether you're using the built-in microphone on your computer or an external USB mic. To check the levels, talk into the mic at the volume you'll be recording at and drag the input volume slider left or right so that the meter is peaking a little over halfway as you talk and not turning red. Now you're ready to record. Click the point in a clip where you want the voiceover to start. Wait for the countdown and start speaking. When you're finished, hit the spacebar. A purple marker shows your recording. If you made a mistake and want to redo your voiceover, you can select the marker and hit delete. Also, you can drag the marker to move the voiceover to a different spot. You can record as many voiceovers as you want, repeating the same steps. At this point, if you want, you can add music, titles, and transitions to finish your movie. To export it for upload to the Voices for the Lake website, click on Share and export it as a QuickTime movie. Make sure your movie is under 100 megabytes. Go to our website, voicesforthelake.org, click on Share, and follow the simple steps that guide you through the uploading process.